All right, people. I'm in downtown LA. About to go to this event. I guess it's sponsored by Novex Hair Products. A little roof event at the Hilton. Right here on uh, Graham between 5th and 6th. You good? Oh, okay. Get some meat. There we go. It's the product here. Got some food here. It's nice up here, huh? Look at that view. The sun setting is hitting the earth. You see something? I'm going to take this from you back, too. All right, so I'm here at the event on the rooftop. And here's some products right here. My Curls Extra Deep Hair Care Cream. My Curls Leave-In Conditioner. Brazilian Keratin Styling Spray. So it looks like they just pretty much have every possible product for y'all women out there. Deep conditioning hair mask. I mean, it doesn't end. What's this? Brazilian keratin conditioner. So, and if you think I'm done, I'm not. Look at this. Over here, there's a shampoo, shampoo, and deep conditioning hair mask. And as you can see, I don't really need any of this stuff. This is Essa, and we're just hanging out here at the Hilton. And I was telling her about streetgangs.com, and she knew about it, right? I did. Okay. We've been in the game for a long time. Long time, long time, long time. So what brings you here tonight? Uh, my friend Rose is running the PR here, so I came oh, to check up. Oh, Rose Marie. Uh, Reyes. Rose Marie Reyes. Yeah, yeah, okay. So Rose so Marie Reyes. So I came here to just find out more about the product uh -huh. and um, show her my support. Where are you from, Essa? I am originally from Pittsburgh, and I live here in Los Angeles now. Allegheny County, y'all. <laughs> That's that ain't no joke, Allegheny County. I've been there a few times. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're signing off. I don't have any uh, updates for you right now on on the channel, other than to say, on my latest post on the Street Gangs channel, there's been a lot of people tripping on two things. One was that I said that Eugene Battle knocked out Tookie when. He most likely knocked out Jamel Barnes. And I may have misspoken on that one, but I still want to follow up on some cats that told me a couple of stories about Tookie getting knocked out. So a lot of you guys think that Tookie was this invincible gangster. And I've heard of at least two stories to where his PCP and, and pill addiction got the best of him. And he wasn't as ferocious as a lot of you guys may have thought he was. Now, these aren't stories that you can look up online. These aren't stories in books, magazines, the internet. All of these stories are in the streets. All of these stories are known by guys that was there that are in their late 50s, early 60s right now. So I'll follow up on that and, and give you some details on some of the stuff that, that Tookie went through in the 1970s. The second thing is this whole idea of using the word South Central to refer to Los Angeles, or specifically LA's ghetto. Now, yes, yeah, South Central LA has become the very popular term, but there is a there's a racial connotation associated with the use of South Central LA because the black community started on South Central Avenue in the 1940s after World War II. And that was the original settlement area for African Americans. And they couldn't live in too many other places outside of that Central Avenue ghetto, which was off of Vernon in the 40s. So eventually after 1948, blacks in LA were able to move beyond the South Central Avenue corridor. But what happened was wherever blacks moved, whether they moved south of that neighborhood, or if they moved 
West, like most blacks did, they continue to call that South Central. And that was a label that was was put on the black community by the outside forces, or the structure, the system, uh, white folks who was actually trying to fight restrictive covenants. So today, here we are all the way on Crenshaw, the black community. I don't know how many miles west of Central Avenue that is. Has nothing to do with Central Avenue or South Central Avenue, but people still call it South Central. And this has become a term that is so mainstream. We've had a movie called South Central. Uh, the Latino community now in this part of LA calls it South Central. There are songs and hip hop that refer to this area as South Central. And really, it, it, there is no such place as South Central. It's, it's in your imagination. It's in your head. It's in your mind. There is no South Central. There's no official designation of South Central LA. There is not a boundary or borders that define it. It's not on any city map or any city council map or any sort of official map. And all it is is what, it's, it's on your mental map. It's in your mind. And the city of LA actually stopped using South Central when it really understood the history uh, that was associated with it. And most government officials uh, within Los Angeles City and Los Angeles County never refer to this part of LA as South Central. And you're starting to see the media. The media is moving away from using South Central. And I stopped using the word South Central in the late 90s. I actually wrote about it, I think it was in 1999, I wrote an article about uh, the use of South Central. So a lot of you guys are trying to go in on me on saying that there is no such place as South Central. And to a certain degree, what I'm saying is absolutely correct. You know, you, you might have pride in South Central. You might feel that where you grew up is called South Central. But I'm here to tell you that you grew up in Watts. You grew up in West Adams. You grew up in, you grew up in Baldwin Village. You grew up in Vermont Vista. There are names of the communities that you actually grew up in that you should associate and identify with. There is no place at South Central. So on that note, I'm going to sign off and get back to this Novix hair care event, and uh, I'll holler back at you. Signing out.